There are no excuses for invading a country, part 6 of 8, on Between Master and Disciples, held in English. Yes, Master. The UK is to send 120 armored vehicles and new anti-ship missile systems to support Ukraine mm. following talks between Prime Minister Boris Johnson and, and uh, Ukrainian President Zelensky in Kyiv. Mm. It is because of President Zelensky's resolute leadership and the invincible heroism and courage of the Ukrainian people that Putin's monstrous aims are being thwarted, Boris Johnson said after meeting Zelensky. Yeah, yeah. All these, and they still want Boris Johnson out, <laughs> just because of the so-called party in his office. There was no party, just a cake, a birthday cake, and his employee came to say happy birthday. That's it. Oh. They didn't even have a chance to eat the cake. Oh. They are together, they're working in the same place, same office. Mm, yes, Master. Yes. It's okay if they come and say happy birthday, no? Shouldn't they do that to their boss? They should, Master. To the boss of their country, even. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. My God, ridiculous people, the political people. They're so stupid, so ugly, you know. I mean, it gets that ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Just an excuse to cause trouble for the guy and ask him to even step down. Yeah. I wouldn't. What for? Right. They work in the same office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like you guys that work together in the same environment, you never go out, so you don't need to even wear a mask or don't need to even sit uh, separately. But uh, we still do it, just to make an example. Right. Yes, right. Master. And it's good so. But you never go out. If you go out, I lock you in for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know that. Yes, yes, yes Master. Strictly, no exceptions. Yes, 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 Master. Anybody who steps out of that gate, that's it, three weeks, <laughs> quarantine. <laughs> yes, Master. Eat whatever we brought to you. <laughs> Nothing else, okay? Yes. 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 But it's good that you have your own toilet and bathroom. <laughs> For a change, huh? Yeah. Privacy. <laughs> yeah? Private bathroom, my God. <laughs> you know, otherwise you have to go together with a, a row of bathrooms. <laughs> public all together. And only you use it. Only you. No outside people can come in anyway. Yes. Right. Yes. And then you clean every two, three days. It's very good already. Right. Yes, right. In uh, India, I didn't even have that luxury. Oh. <laughs> I told you already many stories about India. Yes. Yes, master. Yeah, when I worked inside the ashram, maybe I had one. But mostly when you go outside, other so-called masters, disciples, they don't have toilets or anything for us. We go on top of the roof, I told you already. Yes. yes. Or go outside under the tree to recycle. Yes, yes. master. You know that. Uh, oh, what else? Sweet. Yes, Master. A train was turned into hospital to conduct rescue missions in Ukraine. The charitable organization Doctors Without Borders mm. has been organizing the rescue operation using the train. Mm. Wow. They just came in lately, yeah? Uh, yes, uh, just a few weeks ago, I think. Well, better late than never. Right. They have a lot of donations, and they are well off, so they should uh, help other people. Mm, yes, Master. Mm -hmm. yes. This is their duty. Anything else? Yes, Master. The Ukrainian soldiers who told a Russian warship, go F yourself, yeah. are honored on uh, postal stamps. Oh, stamps? Do well, they have their own stamps now? Yes, yes. they do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How about us? We work really hard. <laughs> we don't tell anybody to go help yourself, but we say similar stuff. <laughs> 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 we 
have a family television, you know. <laughs> we can just say it anywhere we want, no? <laughs> or to anybody we want, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. It's a good thing. It's fair. Yes, yes, yes. They're so brave. <laughs> They're just a few people, and they dare to go against the whole big warship of Russia. Mm. Yes. 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 With modern city killer weapons. Yes, yes. Right. yes. yes. Very brave of them. I'm really, really impressed with the Ukrainian spirit. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this is a really good example for the whole world. Yeah. yeah. Well, not to say you have yourself, but <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the rest of it. Yeah? yeah yes, Master. <laughs> the rest of it. But there's men, they say that all the time. <laughs> I mean, they watch too much Hollywood movies. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> when I was in America, I sometimes slip out something that I never thought that I would do. Yes. <laughs> Say something, not like that, but <laughs> 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 but uh, other things, you know, which I should not have said. Mm. So I said to the people who heard, that's not your master speaking. <laughs> 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 just forget about it, yeah? <laughs> people just have to express themselves when they're, they're too pressured. Right, right. Yeah. To oppress and to bully like that. Yes, yes. 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 Just went in like that and invaded their country. Huh? Mm. Just for nothing. Right. They did nothing it's wrong. Oh, and then all kinds of atrocities, all kinds of brutality and devilish kind of treatment to the innocent, poor, peaceful people of Ukraine. Yes. yes right. All right. Oh, that's a very good thing. Anything else, though? Yes, Master. Tell me. A man from Wrexham, UK, felt he must do something after seeing scenes from Ukrainians fleeing their country. And he did. Jamie Hughes spent £100,000 on a house for a woman named Maria and her three sons to live in rent-free for about a year. Mm. The property is being painted and uh, decorated by a team of volunteers ahead of the family's arrival in early May. Mm. The businessman said... A lot of this has been done by the kind donations of everyone that has come together. It's been absolutely amazing. Wow, it is amazing. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Truly good, good. You see, if anything good comes out of this war, it's the people's generosity and kindness. Oh, yes. yes. All over the world. In America, they also welcomed many Ukrainians into their homes. Yes. That's wonderful. And everywhere else also, whoever can afford it, they just welcome them into their homes because they know this is terrible. Mm. Nothing like this should have happened to anybody. Mm. Right. right. Exactly. Exactly. Least of all the innocent and peaceful Ukrainian people. Yes. 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 They are fit in Europe with their labor, with their work on the farm. Yes. yes. And not just Europe, but their products that go everywhere in the world as well, even to China. Yes. Mm. And this war affects many, many farmers everywhere, not just Ukrainians. Mm. And it might even trigger world hunger. Yes. Mm. Oh, terrible. And they just do farming. Mm. Yes, 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 And to feed the world, at least feed Europe all these hundreds of years, decades up to now. And now their products are stuck there. But they should use uh, every other means to export their food. Otherwise, what to do if other people are hungry? Mm. Maybe they cannot do it too much, not like in a big ship. Yeah. Yes, yes. The container ship is uh, quicker right. and right. Uh, in more vast numbers. But now Russia controls their ports mm. where they used to go out to export things. They could use trains, more trains, more trucks, mm -hmm. big, big trucks like those, fewer trucks. But then those trucks are also busy with other things. Mm, right. yes. Yes. So people are stuck now. I hope they find a way to export them before they are rotten mm. in the storage for nothing. Yeah, that's and right. while other people are short and the prices are shooting up because of that. Oh. This is happening already. Prices of food and fuel mm. are shooting up because of short of supply, because of the war in Ukraine. Yeah, yes, yeah. 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 It's not just Ukraine, it's affecting everyone else, not just Europe. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Master. Master. Russia is the largest exporter of wheat. They make up 18% of global exports. Ukraine is the fifth largest, making up 7% of global sales. Put together, that's 25%. What happens if this supply chain is disrupted? 
shortages and inflation. That's what happens. Ukraine has already banned the export of food grains. Frankly, there are no other option. Ukraine's exports go through the Black Sea, specifically via three ports, Odessa, Kherson, and Mykolaiv. All three ports are on Russia's radar. So this Russian, he really wants to destroy our world, Putin and the gangs. Mm -hmm. They really want to destroy our world and humanity. They're really devil incarnate. Mm -hmm. You can see that or not? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Just for their own purpose. Yeah. Hmm? Just to invade, just to control, just to colonize wherever they can. Mm -hmm. Just to feel big. They're big already. Right. But the big size doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Your heart has to be generous and yeah. big enough. Yeah. Right. Yes. This is not. This is the opposite. Right, Master. Yes, that's right. Master. That's true. So greedy and ugly and sinful and hellish, devilish. I don't know any other words to describe these types of people who just kill anyone at random without blinking an eye, without even remorse, without even thinking of anything. Mm. And then just because they cannot storm in the steel plant in Ukraine, in Mariupol somewhere, then Putin began to say something very nice like, oh, we have to consider the welfare of our soldiers. Oh, since when did he bother about his people? Huh? Mm -hmm. That's right. 21,000 Russian soldiers, his own people die already. Mm. Yeah. If he did care, he would have withdrawn long ago. Mm. That's right, right, yes, that's right. right. And still, Russian people are being killed more and more. One more general died already just a few days ago. Oh. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many more generals does he still have in store? <laughs> it, it's not easy if you have a general like that. You know, you have to be really senior in the army and have a good record a long, long time before you climb up to the position of the general and colonel even. Yes, yeah, right. right. They are dying in numbers and he could kill us. And now, just because they couldn't come in, it's complicated to storm a plan with about four square miles. Mm. Yes, yes. They have tunnels below it and all that. And so if they come in, it's not easy to even possess it, to occupy it. Mm -hmm. yes. That's right. There are people who are hiding under there, but they might not have enough supply for long. That's why now they want to starve them to death, children and all that. Mm. Mm. And no water, no food. Either they die down there or they go up and die. Oh. So this evil man, he must go. Wherever he goes, he must go. Yes. Not sitting there on his throne right now. Yes, yes, master. Master. And then his gang must go also. Whoever tries to profit from the war, from this bloody business, killing innocents. You got that, huh? Yes, yes, yes master. right, Master. Have you ever dreamed of this? Far away from it all. Where the wind to breathe will never blow, and living things have rooms to grow. Where the sound of the guns never found a dream. Eating animals has brought us to our knees as a species. Brian May, vegan.